we were in casting and we were going through this uh, process we, we, we have to go through with the network where everybody has to approve and uh, we had these final calls in LA we're sitting there with uh, you know with all the executives from sci-fi and uh, we we're like I don't know if we you know know if we have this character. <laughs> this well, well, you actually said, you actually said that. David's character wasn't in the show when we were casting. Um, he, uh, we, we spent a good deal of time casting. In fact, I, I, you, you started after we started shooting, didn't you? Like, yes, you I think it was like the last cast. cast. You were cast after we started shooting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and we were in casting, and we were going through this uh, process. We we you have to go through with the network where everybody has to approve, and uh, we had these final calls in LA. We're sitting there with uh, you know with all the executives from Sci-Fi, and uh, we were like, I don't know if we we don't know if we have this character. <laughs> this well, well, you actually said. You actually said we need somebody like David Hewlett. And then you went, <laughs> yeah. could we get David Hewlett? I was like, I was like, come on, Brad. We actually wrote McKay. Why don't we just cast exactly. David? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And play the part. We, you know, it was like yeah. th there was. There's always this little bit of, um, you know, ask from the network, or at least it, it wasn't explicit but you kind of felt like well, we want something new we want it to be all fresh mm. and different and mm. so bringing like legacy characters over um you know was maybe not our first thought but you know when we went through the the casting process we realized nobody was as good as david so. yeah. Exactly yeah well okay i've <laughs> well, got a story for you on that blowing begins i've got a story for you on that because i heard you were doing atlantis and I contacted my manager and I contacted my agent, all of the freaking agents everywhere and said, just let them know I would love to come back for an episode or two. That was it. Like literally, like I just had so much fun. I, I had never occurred to me that there would be like a regular role. I just thought they're doing a new show. Maybe there's some crossover. Maybe I, maybe McKay could come back for a couple of episodes. And I begged them to follow up on it. And, and you could never have guessed that you would get two thirds of all the lines <laughs> of all yeah. the characters yeah. <laughs> but no oh. one followed up on it none of them followed up on it so until... i don't know if you i don't know if you know this part of the story but the original genesis of mckay uh you know in sg1 was because uh the writer's room used to kind of mock me a little bit about what i would do and say in the writer's what? room Are yeah you rob yeah um they said i had a look and they also said, they said, uh, Brad would often say, you know, say, the joke was uh, uh, that I would comment, you know, I didn't hear anything you were saying, but while you were talking, <laughs> and then I would say my idea. Uh, and and so I just wrote that character and everybody's like, oh, he's such a great villain. And I was like, interesting. interesting. <laughs> villain, interesting. We so never Rob, said villain. A no, no, you. But, you know, uh, antagonist. Um, the other part of, of your character was also, I won't mention any names, but there was a writer <clears throat> who was on the show for a short period of time who claimed he was mortally allergic to lemon. Yeah. And, and really? Oh, well, yeah, that's where that yeah, came yeah. from. Uh, and we, we, the story was we used to go to um, uh, Brad's, favorite, Brad's favorite restaurant, Swiss Chalet, for lunch. And, Love it. Yeah. And this guy on several occasions would ask, the, the the server, uh, you know, is there is there lemon in the sauce? We talk because I'm mortally allergic to lemon. Mortally allergic, and mortally. Uh, and for the longest time, you know, the server's like, no, no, there's no lemon in that. And so we went on like that for some time. Then another time, we went back, and he did it again. You know, he asked the question. And the server was like, oh, oh, yes, of course there is. It's, it's like fifty percent lemon. <laughs> he was eating this sauce with the. With the lemon in it for for months, and yes. and uh, apparently he was uh, drinking it actually mortally, drinking mortally allergic yeah. to it. Yeah, so that's where that that's where that came from.